So once you have downloaded your blogger bundle zip, you will go ahead and locate wherever that has saved, either in your downloads folder or to your desktop. You're going to right click and uncompress or I'm going to max so just double click. It's going to uncompress. You can move that zip folder to the trash. So this folder is going to be here. All right, go ahead and open up Lightroom. You're going to go up to Lightroom. You're going to go to Preferences. You're going to go to Show Lightroom Presets folder. You're then going to double click on Lightroom. Then you're going to go to Develop Presets. All the presets you have in your Lightroom, all your folders, are going to be right here. And go ahead and minimize Lightroom. Move this screen over. Open up your uncompressed folder. You're going to see there are some um, written instructions here. These are all the folders in which your presets are at. You can go ahead and right click and copy those and go ahead and paste them directly into this develop presets. So this is going to copy over all the folders with the presets in them. Go ahead and get out of all those windows. You're going to open up your Lightroom and you're going to restart Lightroom. Close all these, your Lightroom restart. Go ahead and open that back up. When we open Lightroom back up, all those presets are gonna be within those folders in your Lightroom presets panel on the left side, rather than having to import each folder within the presets individually. It's just a little bit quicker. All right, turn on those before and afters. As you can see, they are all right here. All right, we're going to go ahead and go through these real quick. So to get the moody, desaturated, um, kind of indie look, uh, the Fine Art Indie Pack is going to give you those looks. We can just do a quick click through of these. As you can see, it's really deep, really moody, really desaturated. Uh, some presets do have mild grain, and that is fully adjustable as well. But these are definitely my favorite for uh, uploading Instagram photos or for fashion, any of, of that kind of imagery. There are some matte ones. All right, and we're going to go through and look at a product photography preset. So this would be maybe for like fashion blogging um, or any sort of mock-ups. If you go into the LM products, uh, this is where these presets to make your adjustments to these are going to be. So I really like to use uh, the brightening preset. A lot of my inside photos really need uh, a boost of brightening. Um, they also need to remove yellow color cast. Um, there's also ones for blue and green and red, but indoor at my house there's a lot of yellow. So I use remove color cast one. Um, other than that, I usually do add some contrast and so the high contrast is good and sometimes I sharpen it. This one looks pretty good. Uh, so as you can see, just with those three presets, we got rid of the yellow hue, we brightened it and added some nice deep um, rich contrast, which makes this photo just really pop. I'm gonna go ahead and look at another fashion photo. Um, there are some matte in here as well. As you can see, that'll give some really good um, soft results as well. Again, um, you can go ahead and do a click through. Uh, this is the one I used on the before and afters. That was the Indie Pack number five. These are numbered one through 40. And so just depending on your starting point of your photo, um, you can go through and see what is suitable for your style and uh, your lighting. And again, we'll do another product or mock-up post. And that again is going to be in the product presets. Again, uh, my favorite combination is uh, brighten one, remove yellow, um, and then also high contrast. So as you can see, that is definitely my go-to recipe uh, for the product presets just to give them that bright, vibrant, uh, clean, minimal look to your images. And on top of that, um, there are some bright and airy presets in here as well, depending on your editing style. Um, some people like bright and airy, some people like the deep and moody. So I try to include a little bit of um, what each type of style person would kind of like in there. As you can see, these do give a really bright, vibrant um, finish. They uh, brighten up shadows, they adjust the whites, uh, they tone the image, and they add quite a bit of vibrancy. 
So that was our quick overview. I hope you like the products. If you have any questions on installing or processing your images, or if you need any recipes uh, for your uh, mock-ups or to get wider backgrounds, I'm always here to help. Definitely send us an email um, or shoot us a message. Thank you, bye.